Atlas, Atlas, uh, in the high, yes. in the hot seat tonight. And Atlas goes by the name of Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? All right, I have new topic, two positive updates for everyone today. All right, two positive updates. Positive update number one. We have been talking about this recently. All right, as you know, a long time ago. Seven years ago, I became a full-time live streamer, and when I did, and I started looking for different sources of income and revenue to support me rather than just ad revenue on YouTube, one of the ideas that people came up with was merchandise. And to be honest, I never was looking to make a lot of money doing it or anything. It was just people had asked for it for many years. They were like, do you have any merch you sell or whatever? So at that point, Teespring reached out to me and said, we want to build you. This was 2017. They knew who I was. They knew my content. They said, we want to build you a merchandise store. We want to have a storefront with all these products. They actually designed some of my initial products for it. And then over the years, fans would make more cool uh, designs and things, and I would add more products, okay? To be honest, I never really made a lot of money on Teespring. I think the most I ever made in a month was like $300 on it because I would try to keep the prices down so that people could afford the stuff. And I would make like, no lie, like a dollar or two per item that was sold. So that's what I mean. Like even in a month where like a hundred items was sold, I seriously made like 300 bucks. That was it. Okay. Now they had that going for years, 2017, all the way through 2021. I want to say it wouldn't have been 2022, but I think it was 2021. And, and basically what happens is my trolls, my detractors got together and actually made this big concerted effort to flood any business that I was associated with, with the negativity about me. They actually made this actual hate roll montage of like the dead space joke I made in 2010 that got me banned from Blip TV. Racial jokes that I made from like 14 years ago, okay? Like that's what they did. It wasn't like they took modern content. They actually took way outdated old content. They made this worst of real and they sent it to all these companies saying, are you aware that DSP, who calls himself the king of hate, is a bigot, a racist, a sexist, and this is the guy who you have on your platform, and if you don't do something about it, we're going to blow this up, and we're going to make a big deal out of it, okay? Now, keep in mind, these were platforms that reached out to me. Teespring had reached out to me to have merchandise on their site, well knowing who I had been way in the past, right? They were okay with it. But now, all of a sudden, because they had, like, 20 of my trolls reaching out to them to, saying threatening this, they panicked. So what did they do? Teespring shut my merch shop without even telling me. I didn't even know that it was shut down. And then someone said to me one day, because I think was, it was, like I said, it wasn't a big thing for me. I wasn't like I was actively checking it or whatever. So to me, it's like no big deal. Uh, to, I'll, every once in a while, I'll check on it. Maybe I'll update a product. I'll take $10 out of it that I made in the month or whatever, right? So... One day, people are coming on stream to me, and they're like, hey, FYI, your merch shop is gone. I'm like, what? So I went and checked. Yeah, it's gone. The page is just deleted. And I look. I can't. I go to log in to access it. It just says error. That's all it says, error. What the fuck? So obviously, I contact them, and I say, hey, what gives? My shop is gone. And they responded, uh, basically, we, we removed your shop for violations of terms. And I said, what violations of terms? The shops existed for four years. All the stuff, half the stuff on there you designed. There's designs on there you made, right? And then all the other designs, there's nothing on there at all that violates your terms of service. Tell me what violates your terms of service. I want to know right now. And you want to know what they said? We have no legal or obligation to ever respond to you. And then they never responded ever again. I'm serious. They said, well, we don't have to tell you anything. And then they just fucking ghosted me and never responded ever again. So, yeah, what happened is, I hate to say it, it's a, this woke mob mentality bullshit. All these businesses are going woke. And because 14 years in the past, I made risque jokes. Oh, God forbid that we give that person a platform to sell some merch, despite the fact that we reached out to him in 2017 and made a shop for him. So does it make any logical sense? Of course it doesn't. But that's the thing. All these companies are changing. For the worse, I'm sorry, there's a difference between, okay, we recognize, you know, social justice and we want, we're, we're for equality and things, or, oh, cancel culture woke mob over anyone who ever had a risque joke on the internet over 14 years ago and fucking punish them for it in the modern day. It doesn't make any fucking sense. 
But this is how they operate. These companies are run by fucking nitwits who don't understand business, don't understand anything about reality. So anyway, um, since then, basically I had no merch because I looked around at some other companies and stuff. And I did contact a few companies and a few companies contacted me. In fact, as soon as, or as recent as March-ish, it was either March or April, a company contacted me and said, hey, you know, we're a platform that not only does merch, but also accepts contributions and donations. It's kind of like a, a combination Patreon plus merch all in one encompassing deal. And they said, would I be interested? And I said, listen, I'm definitely interested in your merch thing because I've wanted to make merch for years. And here's the situation that happened with Teespring and everything. So I told them. And at first they're like, oh, no big deal. How bad could your trolls be? And I said, oh, no, you don't understand. I have these crazy, insane people, right? Who A-log me constantly. They're on my ass. They're just, they want to ruin everything for me. So if you do business with me, I'm telling you, you'll make some money, but understand you're going to have people hounding you, sending you this nonsense on your social media and everything. So I want you to actually look uh, look me up because this person obviously was like a recruiter or whatever for the company. And I said, I want you to actually look me up and I want you to see the amount of hate that I get, right, from these assholes. Then I want you to come back to me and tell me you actually want me to work with you because I don't want to set up this entire shop have it start running, have my fans want to buy stuff, and then you shut it down within a day because my trolls contacted you. And when I sent them that, and I said that, they never contacted me ever again. So that was like March or April of this year. So I, it's not like I'm not trying. It's just that no one really is willing to work with me because of my trolls, okay? Well, I do have some positive news, all right? I may have found a company, and they don't really give a shit, all right? This company basically deals with this kind of shit, and knows the deal and knows who I am. And let me put it this way, because I don't want to get ahead of myself, but basically it's kind of like they know the game, they see what's going on, and now they've seen my resurgence in the last month and a half. Like, they've seen me get popularity by being on Kino Casino and doing other things. And they're like, yeah, we get it. Now you probably would want, people would want some merch from you. So let's 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 work it out. So I sent them a few logos, like basic stuff. This is not even like the stuff that probably would sell. But I just wanted to see what would happen. I sent them like four logos. And I was like, I'm just curious with these. What could you do? What kind of merch could you make? You know, what's the quality of your products? And they said, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to print you out a few demo items. you know, And we're going to send them to you. And I said, I would like to show them on stream. And they're okay with that. So they're coming supposedly sometime today. I just don't know when because they're, they're stupid USPS. So my fucking postal service, they, they, they could... They could literally deliver right now or they could deliver at like 8 p.m. That's how the postal service is here. Like I have no clue when the fuck they're coming and there's no way to even tell, all right? But supposedly the stuff is coming today. And again, these are not, like this was before I even had the Philomania design. So I couldn't send them that because I didn't have it yet. You know, I've been, I've been you know talking with these guys for a couple of weeks about it. Um, But I understand like that would be one of the ones that you want, right? You would want like a Philomania t-shirt if you were looking for that, right? So anyway... Supposedly, the demo products are coming sometime today, and if they do, obviously, what I'd like to do is go through them with you on stream, and we'll look at the quality. I'll see what kind of shirts are available or whatever, and we go from there. And if it looks like good stuff that we're interested in, then I likely will work with them. And much like when I first worked with Teespring seven years ago, I said, what they want to do, they want to set up a storefront. They want to have, you know, I'll send them logos that they will make merch with. But also, they might design some other things as well. They have a team of designers who they might design some interesting merch too. And then you'll have your, your options to pick what you want and just order. And it's, it's easy. I won't have to do anything. All I do is I send them the logos. I don't even have to design the merch. I just send them the logos and they'll have their people make merch out of it. And then we could look at it together on, on like podcasts and stuff to see what the new items are and stuff. And, uh, and then you guys just order straight from them and they ship straight to you. All right. So, so there you go. Now, this is not a guarantee. I want to see what, what, yeah, you know, what's the quality of this stuff today? This is kind of a, a big test, you know? Hopefully it's good, you know? I don't think I've really de dealt with a company where it was a crap, you know what I mean? But, you know, when you want to order a t-shirt and you're going to spend a good amount of money on it, because you know it's probably going to be at least 20 bucks for a t-shirt, right? Let's face it. Today to get anything custom made, it's at least, the, the, the Philomania shirt I ordered was almost $30. I think it was like 26 27 or something like that. They're expensive to get stuff made. So, um, yeah, so... We'll see what the quality is. I hope it's like a really good uh, quality material on the shirt or whatever. 
I'll, I, apparently they sent me a few, so I guess we'll see different things and, and go from there. All right. So that's obviously that's a really positive announcement, right? That's something that's been years in the making. People have wanted merch now for years. I couldn't give it to you. And now and then, you know, this last month, month and a half with this resurgence of attention I've gotten on the Internet. People say, hey, would you ever sell a shirt or whatever? You know, I like that Philomania shirt. Well, now there's a possibility that it could actually happen. Okay. 